I don't know if you thought you'd be here at this time, obviously. Uh, the fight came together the Tuesday before it was announced, uh, before fight night it was announced. But when did you first hear there was a possibility you could be on this card you're fighting for the UFC? I got a call from my manager on Friday that there's a possible opening. Somebody got hurt and uh, we jumped on it right away. So just about, yes, just Eight about days. a week ago, seven days ago, yeah. Yeah, seven, eight days ago. There's, there's no hesitation in your mind. Is there, are you one of the guys that, you know, you know there's UFC is coming to Canada, people fall out, stuff happens, and you were ready to go? Or is I'm it always like, ready. I, yeah. I train full time all year round, and uh, I was actually getting ready for uh, Valley, Tudo, Valley Tudo Japan on September 19th. Okay. So I, I was just preparing for that fight, and uh, this popped up. And so, like I said, we just jumped on it, and. Uh, we're always ready to go. Yeah, and we've seen a lot of you know late injury replacements in the UFC this yeah. year, and it kind of seems to go one way or the other. Either the guy shows up big and has a fantastic performance, or it's just uh, you know doesn't seem like it's all there, maybe because of a lack of preparation and everything. Yeah. What do you? How are you feeling going into the fight? Do you feel like this is kind of it's good for you because you don't have too much time to overthink it, or what's the thoughts going into Men it with such little time? Mentally, physically, spiritually, I'm in such a great spot right now. This is something that I've been preparing for a long time and uh, you know like I have a lot of experience I've been in this fight game for the last 20 years and I've I've been in these situations before so uh, you know I take it as it comes this is a big roller coaster ride of a lot of ups and downs and uh, you know just I'm so grateful to be here yeah do you feel like this should have happened sooner for you or do you feel like it's perfect timing you know what it, it was close before I had a lot of close cl calls but uh, you know, this is just this is awesome that it's happened now, and uh, I'm more than ready. Yeah, and what do you make of the matchup and everything? Was it something you're happy with? Were you aware of your opponent before? Because obviously he's a Canadian as well. Yeah, um, no, actually, I never. I'm not aware of my opponent at all. I don't know much about him, but. Uh, I'm a martial artist and I'm here to fight the best and beat the best. Yeah, and if people may be watching you for the first time on Saturday, what kind of fighter should they expect to see? They're going to see a complete fighter. I love to entertain. I love to keep the, the fans on the edge of their seats. Uh, that's what this business is all about. But uh, more importantly, I, I'm just here to showcase my skills and uh, to show the world what I'm all about. Yeah, absolutely. And of course, uh, it's an interesting time for Canadian MMA right now. Uh, they just announced today Roy McDonald is signing with Bellator, so he's no longer going to be part of the UFC. Oh, really? Uh, I never heard of that. Yeah, what do you think that does for like the Canadian MMA scene? Do you feel like the next generation is kind of coming through? There's a lot of debuting fighters on this card, yourself being one of them. Do you think yeah. the fans are kind of waiting to be introduced to the next group of fighters that are you know beyond the Roy McDonald's and the George St. Pierre's? Yeah, the next the next group of fighters that are coming along, they're going to be they're going to be really talented because now this sport has evolved so much over the last couple of years these guys are it's they're just on the next level and every generation that goes by just keeps on getting better and better